Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew here, and we are back with another video. So we are doing a review of the WZ111, and we are going to compare it with the IS3. The WZ111 is a Chinese heavy tank, and the IS3 is a Russian heavy tank. We are both at tier A. For price, um. This is wrong. It's in the WZ111 because 12,250. No. I don't really know what's the part of the WZ111, but I'm sure it's not 12,250. But I know the price of the IS3, which is 2,568,500. The price of the WZ111, I'm not really sure about it. So. If you know it, please put down in the description down below because I really don't know what's the price of the WZ111 because I don't have the tank yet. For hit points, the WZ111 has 1,558 points while the IS3 has 1,458 points. For signal range, the IS3 comes in top with 730 meters with the WZ111 at 600 meters. The... WZ111 is a speed limit of 50 km per hour, the IS3 at 38 km per hour, backward they're the same at 15 km per hour. They have the same crew, Their arm, the armor of the WZ111 is 120mm front and rear and 60, front and side 60mm in the rear, while the IS3's front armor is 110mm. 90 millimeters in the side and 60 millimeters in the rear. For the turret armor, the WZ 111 is 230 millimeters in the front, 120 in the sides, and 60 in the rear. While the IS3 has 175 frontal turret armor, 120 millimeters at the side, and 100 in the rear. For engine power, the IS3 is 650 horsepower, while the WZ111 is 520. While the horsepower per ton, the um, WZ111 is 11.69 horsepower per ton, while the IS3 is 13.36 horsepower per ton. For traverse speed, um, the IS3 is a bit higher at 27 degrees per second with the WZ111. 26 degrees per second 1 degrees per second means life or death so now before we go to the armor scheme now we're going to go to the real thing the gun the damage of the wz111 is 394 ap and heat 434 he while the is3 is 394 ap and apcr 534 HE. Both of them has exactly the same damage on all rounds. They both have 390 for their standard and premium rounds and 530 damage for their high explosive. But for penetration, for armor piercing, the WZ111 has a penetration of 175 millimeters and 250 millimeters for heat, 61 for HE. Keep in mind, Heat is really bad with space armor, while the IS-3 has 175 mm for AP, 217 mm APCR, and 61 mm for HE. Keep in mind, they do have the same shell price except the heat having almost having 33 more penetration costs to my gold keep in mind again the heat is bad on space armor now let's go to the armor scheme and so here's the wz111 the frontal armor of this tank is 196 millimeters, but it is angled that makes it around 226 millimeters on the upper plate, but only 175 on the lower plate. The frontal turret armor of this tank is a bit thicker at 380 millimeters. The side turret armor at 130 millimeters. The side hull armor at 200. 
to at 161 millimeters the rear armor is really thin at just about 66 millimeters though it's angled the rear third armor is 60 millimeters and the top armor if you are an artillery player like me you have easy time penetrating this tank with 25 millimeters the top of the third is at 55 millimeters so don't forget to drop a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe so i already did a review on a uh, american german russian british french chinese so tomorrow uh, i'm going to do a review of a japanese or a czech tank please put down in the description down below what tank do you want me to do a review on first the czech or the japanese thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video